Hey, Jonathan here at Colfax Math, the Practical Math Channel. Today I'm going to go over how to calculate volume for ordering concrete. So if you're building a patio with a slab, a footing, whatever you're doing with concrete, ordering the amount of concrete is essential. It could make or break a job. So today I'm going to go over how to calculate volume and how to order concrete. So ordering concrete is really essential to any project. If you're under, it's disastrous, and if you're over by a lot, it's not good either. So the first thing you need to know about ordering concrete is it is sold by the yard, the cubic yard. It is a volume measurement. A yard is three feet, so a cubic yard is three feet by three feet by three feet deep. So a square yard would be three by three, nine, but a cubic yard would be three by three by three going up, three times three, nine times three, 27. So there are 27 cubic feet in one cubic yard. Um, a cubic yard is pretty close to a cubic meter um, if you're working, I don't know, in Europe or somewhere else. Calculating the amount of concrete you need is all about units. So if you're doing a slab, it might be five foot by 10 foot, but only four inches thick. So you're gonna start with that five foot times 10 foot, 50 square feet, and then four inches thick is only a third of a foot. So you take that 50 square feet times a third, you convert that four inches thick is four over 12, one third, and 50 times a third would be, uh, what is that, I don't know, 17? just under 17, and then under 17, right? 17 times three would be 51, so just under 17. Concrete, you always go up a little bit. So then you have 17 cubic feet, and then you do that 17 cubic feet divided by 27 cubic feet to get a little over a half yard, somewhere between a half and three quarters of a yard. With concrete, you always order a little too much, so I'd probably, on that case, uh, of that little slab, I would probably order three quarters of a yard of concrete. Three quarters of a yard of concrete, you could actually get in a wet trailer. Um, so that's a general idea. Let's go over to my desk and I'll do some more problems with the camera over my shoulder and we could uh, figure out some footings, different slabs, different concrete applications and calculate how much volume we have and in turn figure out how much concrete we're gonna order. Okay, let's get started. This is from the Math for Carpentry and Construction Trades book. I'll put a link to this in the description. The link will be to the third edition. This is the second edition. And we're in the chapter working on foundations and footings. And we're just going to calculate how to order concrete. Again, there are 27 cubic feet equal one yard of concrete. And the reason why that's the case is that a yard is three by three by three, three times three is nine, nine times three is 27, okay? So let's say we have a footing, that footing's 20 feet by 10 feet on the outside, and let's say it's six inches thick. So the width of the footing from here to here is six inches so all the way around it's six inches thick um, we could break it into rectangles to find the volume of it probably want to use all the same units as feet and then we'll take that total volume in cubic feet and divide it by 27 to get how many yards of concrete we need one measurement we still need is the height of the wall so let's say the height of the wall is three foot high so I'm going to split it in to rectangles, let's say this is one rectangle here, this is one here, the full length, and then there's one there. So this rectangle right here is 10 feet by six inches, which is a half foot. So it's 10 feet by a half foot by three feet deep. So 10 times a half is five, five times three is 15 um, cubic feet, okay? 
then that's this rectangle and this rectangle. So that's 15 cubic feet plus 15 cubic feet. This rectangle here, even though it's 20 on the outside from here to here, I got to calculate it on the inside. So this is going to be minus 6 inches minus 6 inches. This is only 19 feet. So now I'm going to take that 19 feet times a half foot times 3 feet. So what I have here is 19 times a half times 3 and this is 28.5 cubic feet and then times 2 for the other one over here. So that's 57. So I have 57 cubic feet for these two rectangles here and then 30 cubic feet for those two rectangles here. So I add those together to get 87 cubic feet of concrete that I need for this footing. And I'll take that 87 cubic feet, divide it by 27 and get 3.2. And that's gonna give me 3.22 yards. Um, because you're ordering concrete, I would probably order three and a half yards for that um, footing. Always better to have too much and not enough, especially on a footing like that. So I just round that up to three and a half yards. Um, let me show you another way you could do this. It might be easier, it might not, I don't know. I could find the overall perimeter around the outside. So I'd have 20 plus 10, 30 plus 20, 50 plus 10, 60. So the perimeter on the outside is 60 times that half foot is 30 feet times that three foot is 90 feet. So one problem with doing it this way is I double counted these little blocks right here in the footing, right? I counted them on the 20 foot section and the 10 foot section, but you'll see it's a pretty minimal count. So I'm gonna take that 90 foot divided by 27 cubic feet so I have 90 divided by the 27, and I get 3.33 cubic feet. And you can see, uh, it's really not, I'm sorry, 3.3 yards. So I took 90 feet divided by 27 feet, got 3.3 yards. It's actually pretty close to the accurate estimate of 3.2 yards, but we're talking concrete, so we're gonna round up to three and a half yards. Um, so double counting this really isn't that big of a deal. So there's another example of calculating um, yards of concrete needed. Hopefully that'll help you a little bit. Again, the key is, you know, if you're talking about a linear measurement, linear measurement, there are 12 inches in one foot, and then there are three feet in one yard. But if you're talking about square measurements, you got to square the numbers. So there are nine square feet in one yard, square yard, or 144 square inches in one yard. But if you're talking about cubic measurements, then you got to cube the number, right? So in a cubic yard of concrete, it seems, I don't know, maybe not that obvious, but a cubic yard, one yard is three feet times three feet times three feet, and that's why there's 27 cubic feet in a cubic yard of concrete. All right, I hope that helped. If it did, uh, hit like, hit your comments below if you got a better system for figuring out volume and ordering concrete. And uh, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit subscribe. This channel is uh, Practical Math. So thank you for watching.